going up to the wrap shop and finally deciding on a color <laughs> See, this is why it's so hard to choose a rap because there's all these it, bro. Come on. oh my god <laughs> yep i just talked myself into it hello i'm jensen what's going on everybody so in today's video i'm going to be going up to the rap shop and finally deciding on a color he said that the color that i wanted was out of stock so i'm either gonna have to wait a couple weeks or something like that to get the color that i want or just choose something new if you don't know that I decided on going with half matte white, half of this green. And this is the green, obviously. It's not too sunny outside, so it's kind of hard to see. And this is extremely dirty, but you know, it's green to black iridescent. And then I'm going to most likely do forged carbon strip all the way down the center to separate the colors. But he said that this color is out of stock. So I don't know if I should just wait for that color or do a different color. I don't know. Anyway, I'm pretty much just going to make a decision today. I'm going to go to the wrap shop, check out their uh, their color panel of all the different samples of colors that they have. I might come out the, uh, the shop with some random ass color today. Who knows? Anyway, let's hop in the drift cat and get going. <laughs> Google that and see what the hell that is. So after a quick investigation on the Hellcat form, it says that the intercooler coolant is low. So we're going to uh, pull over and check that. Make sure that's that's not low. It might have just been some sloshing, but you know, we're gonna check it and make sure. Intercooler temps are low, so I know it's not like overheating or anything. So that means there is fluid in there. After taking that video, I realized 25 is pretty cold, not gonna lie. So I check my inner chiller switch right here, and I guess that the inner chiller has been on for I don't know how long, which is not good. Pretty sure it was just some, some sloshing, might have been frozen. Yeah, it's thawing out now, so it should be good. Not actually, though. Make, what's happening? It's time to make a decision, man. Yeah, about time. You <laughs> show some love. Shit. Damn. You more popular than the president right now. <laughs> How you been, bro? Good, bro. How you good, doing? Good. What up, bro? Pick out a color or what? Yeah, if I have to now. I've been waiting for weeks and fucking I don't know, I just can't decide on shit. I gotta come look at something face to face, you know? Yes sir. Out of that car looking like a beater. Yeah. <laughs> Sand spots everywhere. All type of shit. For real though. Big GT guy. Alright, so let's see. These are some of the samples that they have here. Looks like they got a little bit of the green, not too much, but you said six different colors? European look. <laughs> I don't know about that one. So this is the green, the green to black iridescent. This is the old satin tundra that I did. This is pretty clean. It's like a rose. You got some booklets too? Yeah, they're all there, yeah. bro. Hit a deer. Hit a deer. Hit a deer. Took so. a deer's life, no big deal. Oh, I'm talking about chopped it in half. <laughs> this whole shit was fucked up. Headlight was gone. Inner cooler was all curled under the car. Yeah. That fender was bent. The whole front bumper was gone. You lucky you didn't blow all the airbags. Yeah, real shit. Like, if I would have hit it dead center, because I only hit the ass end. Yeah. Like, if I would have hit it dead center, it would have fucked so much shit up. It would have took it all out, huh? It would have been Cold. bad. Yeah, pretty much got everything smooth for you. Yep. Made it nice and uh, applicable for the material. Let's do... The 3M booklet. What's the closest? It's that black rose hmm. you're looking at. 
That's just the red version of the green. Mm -hmm. So bro brought it to my attention that after a burnout, that uh, satin white is gonna turn yellow and get stained with all the rubber and shit. So trying to decide on something else besides the white and that green is out of stock. So maybe trying to decide something besides the green. But yeah, that would be fucking tight. Yeah, that green with the satin white. It might be clean to uh, do the half matte white and then do that back panel in the carbon. Hmm. You know, so it looks like your, your back burnout quarter panel is carbon fiber. This in the sun looks white. On a sunny ass day. Hmm. It'd be easier to keep clean. That white's for people that don't drive their car. Yeah, real shit. <laughs> yeah, not the driver. I never even really thought about it. Yeah. This is gonna get dirty and stained super, super easy. I was also thinking this and the satin, the tan. Mm -hmm. Do the tundra again, Do bring back both colors. Yeah, you really picked out your two favorite colors that first time, huh? Yeah, <laughs> real shit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's tight. Half green, half tan, bring back both colors. What do you think of that combo though? That color combo. I mean, green is like on the spectrum of uh, tan, right? It's like a military yeah. color. Yeah. Green goes with it. And most of the time it looks black anyways, right? That green? Yeah, it does. It just looks gloss black. So this is the black rose that I was first kind of looking at. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit different. Mm, darker, huh? Yeah. But this is out of stock. This is in stock. But I just, I feel like this is almost too close to the, the stock Mopar color. You know what yeah. I'm saying? See, this is why it's so hard to choose a wrap. Because there's all these fucking options. Fuck it, bro. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> Go chrome Let's on it. Let's do it. Do it in all gold. <laughs> all gold chrome. Alright, so we're gonna do a little little test run with the green and the tan. Bring back both the old colors. Man, I don't know. It might look good. Pretty clean, man. I wish the sun was out. <laughs> it's like you've almost done this before. <laughs> Versus the white. I don't know, I feel like we can't do white now. Yeah. Since you said it's gonna stain too much. Yeah, uh, no more no more white. Even though I'd love to do it just because it looks hella good, but Let me see if I can... for sure. That color combo would be sick, I'm not gonna lie. Green on tan, tan on green. And I like the idea of bringing both colors back. It's like a tribute to both colors that I didn't have for long at all. I like that combo. Ooh. That's tight. And this is just regular carbon too. Yeah, this is pretty carbon. The, the forged carbon I think might set it off a little better. But just to be able to tell. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Should we do that? It'd be cool. Yeah. Bring it back. I think this is him. I think that's him. Pretty sure. Pretty sure we're gonna do that. Cause you still have the contrast from the satin material versus the high gloss. So you still get the shininess and you still get that satin. Yep. I just talked myself into it. Now the only decision will be should I do this side green or this side green? And should I do this side tan or this side tan? I don't know. I guess it just depends what I want to look at when I get in the car. Maybe the tan? Maybe the green? I don't know. Comment down below. Help me fucking decide, dude. I don't know what to do. Running some measurements. I'm pretty sure we've decided on these two colors. Like I said, not going to do the, the carbon. We'll do like a forged carbon of some uh, P2 
PPF and later on down the line we might do like a, a camo on one side or like a reverse camo on both sides we gotta wait for that green to come back in stock because it's out of stock at least we got the two colors down now. all right big shout out to my guys if you're looking for a wrap tint chrome delete anything like that come through tell them i sent you and they will hook you up 2040 broadway street vallejo california all right let's uh, check engine light taken care of because i'm not trying to stare at that for hella long hello what's up my guy what's up man <laughs> whoa man whoa man whoa. shit I don't know. How the fuck do I use this layer? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Getting this fool's opinion right here. Oh, no. I like this one better. We're doing both of them. Are you doing half and half? Yeah, split down the middle. Well, not the carbon fiber, though. We're going to do a different split to separate the colors. But I guess. I, I like, oh, my opinion, I like this one. Yeah, but. But you like this one more. But a lot of people like this one. Yeah. So we can like this one. But it'll be dope because this is hella glossy, you know, and this is satin. So the contrast oh, okay, will be tight. Okay, okay, you know? okay. I mean I think it will be better do like a like a like a black matte black and then shiny pink. <laughs> you yeah, gotta test the brakes somehow, huh? I guess. I guess this thing did not stop at all before, but jeez, you're about to flip this bitch. <laughs> How sensitive a shit. That breaks a lot. This guy. Bro, we did not just do the brakes. We have to test these out. <laughs> Come on, guys. Thanks again, my guy. Oh, God. Finally finished. Now I'm going to go home and go eat because I'm starving. Starving. But no chick engine light. I almost guarantee it's because I had the inner chiller on and then the inner chiller inner chiller can't even talk the intercooler coolant froze over and then it read that there wasn't enough in there so now that it thawed out and chilled i think that it's back to normal so the wrap has been chosen just have to wait a couple weeks until the green comes back in stock he's gonna call <laughs> damn near every day this week to see if they get any in stock hopefully hopefully cross your fingers pray that they get some on Thursday because they might get some on Thursday. If not, I gotta wait till it comes back in stock, but colors chosen. Thank you guys for watching, I appreciate it. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share, hit the bell, thumbs up, all that stuff. That's the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching, I appreciate it. Deuces.